<laughs> right, now, when he was 17, he joined the Magic Circle and he gave all parents a lion as the host of the award-winning Ministry of Mayhem. But he's now enjoying mayhem of a very different nature as the host of Britain's Got More Talents. Will you please welcome Mr Stephen Mulhern. Let me hear you. Come on. You OK, Basil? Do you need anything? Stephen, seriously, go what? crackers. This is like an adult Saturday morning show. Oh, please. Uh, my, uh, 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 it's great. I've never seen a Saturday morning, I'm pleased to say. <laughs> <laughs> do you know Basil? Basil, do you know Stephen? Yeah? I do know Mr Stephen. We were we, we, together, weren't we, down in Maidstone when I was filming the Bezel Brass show and you were doing Ministry of Mayhem. <laughs> so I see a lot of you. Don't yes. You? We do. Yes. You're Can I ask well, you, Britain's Got Talent, where do all these people come from? Oh, do you know something? It's such a success, you know, every year, the third series. And I don't know, the talent this year is far better than series one and series two. So I don't know where they've come from, because after series one, we were slightly worried in series two, going, OK, will it be as good? Now series three, wow, you know, it's just unbelievable. Do you know I loved the tassel twirler? Uh, Fabia, <laughs> yes. Didn't we all? Uh, <laughs> She was glorious, she was. No, I do why I loved her, cos she didn't care. She no. just came out and did it and well, that was it. The other thing is, when, when her tassel fell off... Oh, did it, it fall off? It fell off into the audience. Double-sided, sticky tape, that'll keep it on. Well, she told me, and it, this hasn't been seen on ITV2 yet, but she told me that she's used um, eyelash glue. No, it's not strong enough. Is it not? No. What, I don't she... know how I know these things. <laughs> there we are. You need double-sided tape, teller. Industrial <laughs> strength tape. Slap it on and you can spin, you can dry your hair in them. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if she goes to the finals, fingers crossed. Listen, <laughs> Susan Boyle, I mean, Basil, have you seen Susan Boyle? Oh, I think she's fantastic. Talking about a dream coming true, eh? I mean, amazing. It's magnificent. Do you Isn't think it? she's going to make it in the States? Well, I do. She could be in a show, you know. I can see her in Les Miserables. Yeah. She's going to be opera. <laughs> she is, to me. I think she is like the female Paul Paul. Yeah. Um, because when Paul won Series 1, none of us... Actually, none of us believed he was as good as he was. Yeah. Uh, so much so that Anton Deck weren't in the wings when he first started performing. And then they heard him and ran down to the side of the stage. And uh, Suzanne, again, it's awful to say, but I think we all judged, judged her on her look yeah. rather than her yeah. talent. And we were proved wrong, and she's done incredibly well. Do you know, I'm going to put my hand up and say something. I've never seen her. Have you not? <laughs> well, I was away when that programme came out. Um, I'll have to go on YouTube, won't I? Well, she's yeah. the most watched lady, isn't she, on YouTube now? And, no, but Basil, I lead a very sheltered life. Do you? You're very quiet. You'll have to get up earlier, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think you like her. Oh, well, I'm going to have a look at her tonight. When does Kelly Brook appear? Well, it's her first week this week. In fact, I don't know whether it'll be her only week, but... Um... Has she got tassels as well that will fall off? No, no, <laughs> no, that would be a talent. But, um... But <laughs> <I'm gonna> watch <laughs> it, man. <laughs> no, seriously, uh, obviously there was massive controversy and she was on the front pages of yeah. all, all the tabloids and stuff. She kept a very dignified silence, though, didn't she? Absolutely. I thought she did, yeah. And I think, Paul, you know, I think you'll agree with this, that you've got to take chances. Yeah. And I think they did take a chance with Kelly. Um, I don't believe that anyone who was in her seat would have survived because it only works with three judges. Yeah. Four, it became confusing, but you'll see her for the first time and you'll see her on ITV2 as well. Mm. Um, but I don't know how long they're going to keep on for. So. See, I'd have kicked off if that would have been me. Well, what? So what would you have done? I'd have terrorised television. <laughs> I'd have sat at home brooding and plotting and there'd have been man traps all over the studio and everything. Like... <laughs> well, the thing is, she's not part of the series now, but you will see yeah, her this yeah. week. And, uh, yeah, she was lovely yeah, and, and very yeah. beautiful. Should we have a look, babe, please? Let's have a clip of Britain's Got Talent. Come on, Basil, you'll love this. Can we just get on with the act? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Right. What went wrong? My nurse got the better of me. Really? Mm -hmm. How many keep you up? Is Jack and I can do? Uh, less than ten. Was it ten? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. That was you. <laughs> I was having a wee wee. Day. I had a bit of a wee break. There. Good, oh, did good. Like so I seem to go down there quickly. Well, yes, it's just like that's all right. Yeah, that's yeah. It. How would you cope with all the tears? You know when they all because they, listen, my heart breaks for some of them because you know they don't stand a chance. They haven't got an ounce of talent. Yep, they've got bottle, and they deserve ten out of ten for cheek because they get up there and they do it. And you see their little faces, you mm. know, and the judges have a go at them. Well, one of the things I think, being Series 3 now, that yeah. people do know what to expect. Yeah. And 
I think the judges are harder this year, but I think I think that's fair because if you know everyone came on, it was like, well, actually, we know you you're not going to make it. It wouldn't make entertainment. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And uh, it's, I feel sorry for some of them because genuinely they do not know. Yeah. They are just about to go on to the judges. It's the first time they've seen Simon Cowell, Piers, Amanda, and. You know, they, they're not going to make it, but they believe they will. And do you know what? Some of them are given a chance. They don't get that far in the competition. But that little dream, that little nugget is kept alive. And I thought the dancing dog last year was particularly good. Oh, I you? trained him, you know. Oh, did you? Yeah, to do the foxtrot and all that. And giving it this, giving it large, you know. Giving it that. I think he did very well. Yeah. Funny enough, Jim was, uh, Jim was with me earlier on today. Was he? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's good. She drove me to the studio. Cracky, very nice. <laughs> She's that talented. <laughs> yeah. You got your big break on a talent show, didn't you? I did, yeah, on um, the big, big talent show, which was hosted by Jonathan Ross at the time. Also found Charlotte Church. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, that was my big break. And, bizarrely, I then got on the Royal Variety Show from that, which is weird now to be doing a... That's what they're yeah, doing. Absolutely. Can you see the tassel twirling on the Royal Variety? <laughs> no, I can't. Could you imagine? Well, listen, the Queen had to suffer me, right, dressed as in a gladiator outfit <laughs> with a helmet on, blowing a trumpet with me head between my legs in six-inch heels with still a black flashing lights and oh, bits of her body. And I Barbara remember. Windsor dressed as a moth. And so she's... She, she, <laughs> they'll just sail over her when she starts doing all that. She's seen it all before. Very true. Yeah. Do you think... Uh, did you, what do you think, Basil, the tassel twirlers on the Royal Variety performance? Well, I'd love it. I could have some tassels on the end of my brush, couldn't I? And you just could. Just you make a like a little you? flag like that. <laughs> That's good. That's it. I was Australia, Australia Stephen, by oh, the way. Oh, it it's great. Yeah. Yeah. We were doing um, uh, the new series, An Animals Do the Funniest Things, which goes out on ITV1 this Saturday at 6 o'clock. Well, it's a perfect, perfect yeah, example. Yeah, you, you've done yeah. many funny things. Have I? What funny things have I done, then? Well, none on this show yet. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. Yes, I'm looking <laughs> at it on the floor, there. Eh? Thank oh, you, Stephen, it's great to see you. Thank really. you. Thanks for coming in and good luck with the show. Let's see the police. Stephen Mulhern, come on. <laughs>